My name is Shark Tooth, Sam. Everybody say, Ahoy, Shark Tooth! Ahoy, Ahoy. it's a fine name, Shark Tooth Sam, isn't it? Would you like to hear the story of how I came upon that name and how it claimed me as its own? If you'd like to, say aye. Aye. All right, my friends, it's a grand story, says I. Here we go. Now, I was a young man, known only as Sammy back then, on my very first ship, the Hong Kong Cavalier. Our captain, a brave but eccentric man known as Buckaroo Banzai. Anywho, we were there on the South China Sea and we became becalmed. Do you know what it means to be becalmed, mates? Well, it's there's no wind. So you're still, you're dead in the water. So we were sitting there as hot as the devil and I'm thinking, you know what, that water looks awful cool and it's not like the ship can leave me behind. So I peeled down to my skivvies and hopped right into the cool green waters of the South China Sea, and I was in heaven for about five minutes. And that's when the first shark showed up. Tiger, 13-footer, he circles around me a couple of times, and then he comes up to me, and that black eye rolled over white, and then he shut his jaws right here on my arm, and I look at that shark right in his eye. It's as dull, like a doll's eye, and I look in that eye, and I say... My arm, go away, go away, Sharky! Ow, ow! And the shark went away, scared to death, or laughing a lot. It depends on who you talk to. But still, he went, but not before he'd taken my arm clean off. It grew back, right? And uh, once I got on the ship, well. I looked right up on Amazon.com, found me this here Shark Tooth, and that's how I became Shark Tooth Sam. <laughs> if you like that story, say yo ho ho! Yo ho ho! All right, but now, my friends, it is time that we get to the meat of why we're here, and that is to tell you a story about pirate spirits. And there's nothing scarier than pirate spirits, except maybe penguins. Yes, those terrifying those little flightless beasties be. I don't like them at all. It's not funny. Not funny at all. No one's laughing. All right, my friends, here we go. The story of Blackheart Bart and his cursed treasure. Oh, <clears throat> that reminds me. Sometimes I am an old and forgetful pirate, and I say the wrong words. I will say treasure, but we all know the pirates did not call their treasure treasure. They called it booty, right? So, if in my forgetfulness I say the wrong word and I say treasure, then I need you to correct me and shout out the right word, which is... Booty! Booty, right. Say it nice and loud. You can't get in trouble because it's contextually accurate. All right, now, I don't think it'll happen. Maybe once or twice but you keep your ears out and correct me. And I want you to take this very seriously, all right? This is your sacred booty duty. <laughs> all right, here we go. The story of Blackheart Bart and his cursed treasure? Three. Aye, good work. Blackheart Bart was a vile, but quite successful pirate. In fact, they called him the Pirate King. Over the years, he had gathered the largest pirate treasure that you'd ever seen. There were gold pieces and goblets, jewels and doubloons from all every corner of the world. But there was one treasure that he shouldn't have touched. He had come across it in New Orleans on a dark and swampy night. It was a solid gold skull that he stole from the voodoo priestess by the name of Shaka Khan. No relation. He had tricked her with his sweet talk and wicked smile, and as soon as she turned her back, he grabbed the skull and disappeared into the night. He returned to his lair and tossed the skull on top of his treasure <laughs> and quickly forgot about it. But the furious priestess, she did not forget. Unknown to Blackheart Bart, she had placed a curse on that skull. And through its golden eyes, the voodoo priestess Shaka Khan could spy upon Bart and his black heart, watching his every move. But that's not all. 
The legends say the skull could move on its own, floating mysteriously in the air. It would seek out the thief, leave his enormous treasure behind. The skull waited patiently for the right moment to strike. Finally, one night, the golden skull found Blackheart Bart alone and unawares. Bart was half asleep, his mind filled with visions of treasure. Visions of booty. And the skull came up behind him slowly, silently, its dark gold eyes watching for any movement as it approached the target of its dark revenge. At the last minute, the old pirate must have seen his impending doom, and he whipped around to see the golden skull behind him floating on a devil's mist. Shaka Khan, he said. Shaka Khan, I had a feel it was you. And he swung at it with his deadly sword. The skull easily dodged the pirate's attack and moved closer. But Bart, normally a man without fear, became a man without hope, and he ran to hide behind his gigantic treasure. Booty. His gigantic booty. <laughs> Scrambling like a wild man, he threw pieces of eight at the skull, followed by golden candlesticks, jewels, anything else he could pull out of his treasure. It was then that he remembered the musket he had stolen from one of the three musketeers. It was there at his feet, and it was loaded. He grabbed the pistol, he stood his ground, raising the gun and pointing it right at the golden glowing skull of Shaka Khan. And as his gnarled, crooked finger went to pull the trigger, solid rays of golden light shot from the eyes of the skull and surrounded the pirate king. For a split second, black heart Bart began to glow like the noonday sun. And when that glow subsided, well, he himself was covered in gold just like the skull. Unable to move or speak, he still saw and heard everything around him. A living statue, he had become one with his treasure. <laughs> and as he watched the golden skull of Shaka Khan float away, he swore he could hear the mocking laughter of the voodoo priestess echoing in his, in his perfect, solid gold ears. But her revenge was nigh done. No, 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 no. She knew the exact location of Bart's treasure. <laughs> and she sent other pirates to steal it away, as Bart had done to her. And the frozen golden statue of the pirate king had to watch as pirates from all around the world came to pick at his treasure. <laughs> Until there was nothing left but the broken heart of a broken pirate. It is said that the gold skull of Shaka Khan still floats upon an evil breeze to this very day. And when the night is still and the moon is full, you might just see it. But alas, my friends... If you should happen to catch a glimpse of that golden skull, why, it's too late for ye. And there you go, my friends, the story of Blackheart Bart and his cursed treasure. Ah, oh, you did a fine job with the booty dooty. That was very nice. Very good indeed. Well, Buccaneers, that brings us to the end of a... What was that? Beside me, I don't... There's nothing over there. Oh, it's Shaka Khan! Shaka Khan! No! <laughs> <laughs>